Okay, so I've been asked by quite a few of you about how I got Twitter to show up on the homepage of ILGM.com. And if you'll notice, when you go to ILGM.com, that down at the bottom, if you follow us on Twitter, the last five tweets that uh, ILGM has posted show up down here, keeping this page updated constantly. And it's really good to have that for the search engines. They like that content changing. So what I've done is, is I've taken the Twitter feed and built it into iControl Web Studio. So anytime that I post a tweet, we'll try one right now, on the new real estate tool, We've added new realtor management to the real estate tool, so we'll go ahead and tweet about that. Go ahead and put in a link there, and we'll tweet it. So as soon as it shows up here, it will also be in on the home page. So let's go take a look at that. We'll hit refresh and scroll down. So here's the tweet that we just posted now showing up on our website. So the question is, is how did we do that? The first thing that we need to do is we need to log into our administration. So go to your website.com slash admin and log in. And yes, we are using the new version 3 interface for this demo because these videos from this point forward will all have the new tools in it. However, this tool is available today in version 2. And the only thing that you're going to see difference is colors and design, but all of the menu access points are exactly the same. So let's go ahead and log in. Feel free to go ahead and comment on the new design too if you'd like. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is once we're logged in, we need to find the page that we want to post our comments on. So let's go to content editing, page management, and we'll get a list of all of our pages here. we we'll find the page that we want to post it on. Go ahead and edit it. And now you'll notice I have multiple objects. I like adding objects to do the individual things. So I'm going to go ahead and add an object, call it Twitter feed. So we'll create a new object. And we'll call it the Twitter feed. and we'll place it towards the bottom. So we'll make it order number five. And then we're gonna click on this right here, external applications. And then in the include, look for the Twitter feed include right here. And then for the option, you just add in your Twitter ID. So in the case of ILGM, I'm at ILGM. So I will just post in ILGM as my Twitter feed. Then I'm going to go ahead and give it a title um, in the content. And I'm going to go ahead and format that. Let's give it a heading of two. And then hit finish. So here's my new object. The feed's there. Let's go ahead and activate it. And there's one more thing that you need to remember. If you're running, your website is running in HTML, then you need to unhook this from the HTML. We do that by going to Page Properties, and there'll be an option that says Exclude from HTML. This site's not running in HTML, so it's not here. But if your site is running in HTML, there'll be an option to exclude it from HTML, and you'll want to check that box and hit Finish got your property set the only thing that you'll need to do is style it make it look nice it'll it'll play properly without the styles but if you want you can boost it up a little bit so go to your site default click on your site styles this is where your master style sheet is once you post your styles here then you can modify the CSS so that you can change color size font and so on I'll go ahead and add these 
uh, classes to the support underneath the video so that you can just cut and paste them right into your system. That's about all there is. If you have any questions, feel free to post a response on here, and I'll go ahead and, and do what I can to give you a hand.